hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl maureen glow hope you guys are doing great and good and how are you guys coping with this um stay at home stuff i hope you guys are coping fine though anyways um without further ado let's go straight into the gist of today you guys as coronavirus cases increases in nigeria surprisingly many of our celebrities are coming out to give support in ways they can rapper cdq gives tenants rent relief of three months like these tenants are not to pay house rent for another three months wow isn't that great just imagine you've been asked not to pay house rent for three months i bet every nigerian living in nigeria would understand the importance of what he has done I mean, to lessen the burden of paying us rents for another three months in this hard time is much of a big deal. So, kudos to you, CDQ. Shout out to Rontam for donating 10 million naira to Nigerians um, that has no money to stock up on survivor essentials like food and sanitizers and gloves, etc. So, if you know you have no money for these essentials, hurry up to Rontam's page on IG to drop your account details okay you guys as for you Ronson, you've done well so god bless you okay guys the doro boss himself on the 25th of march tweeted he has one million naira to share that afternoon in solidarity and as well asked nigerians to drop their account details how nice of him Tony Abraham has also been supporting people in different states with money to buy food, sanitizer, gloves, and the rest of it, you guys. Yeah, Tony, God sees what you're doing and he will definitely remember you, okay? Guys, um, guess who made contribution to support the citizens of Nigeria in this hard time? It's no other person than the former vice president himself. Atiku Abubakar, that's right. The former vice president Atiku Abubakar pledges 50 million naira to support the cause. He made this known to the public via a post that reads To this end, Priam Group pledges 50 million naira on my behalf as my humble contribution to relief fund that will form part of this stimulus package. All right, thank you, Mr. Sir. Your contribution is well received. Okay, guys, um, you see, if all of us can, you know, help support ourselves in one way or the other without waiting for the government or celebrities in this crucial time, especially, life will be much more easier, you know, even now that we are meant to stay at home with everywhere shut down. You get what I mean? Think about it. Anyways, kudos to everyone that has, you know, supported in any way they can. I pray God blesses and replenishes their pockets. Guys, I believe you all must have seen the video whereby a pastor was saying um, members of the church should not expect their pastors or men of God to give them food or hand sanitizers because members give to God and not to the pastors for them to receive a blessing so they should go and buy their hand sanitizers and stop thinking the church has to bring them sanitizers. Oh well, the pastor has come out again, but this time to say how sorry he is and that his words were taken out of context. In his words, my attention has been drawn to a section of a live video I did dubbed. Questions and answers on Facebook and a comment I made about churches giving out sanitizers. I wish to put on a record that I am not engaged churches giving out sanitizers to its members and even extending to the community at large. Indeed, the church exists to support the community. My discussion and comment was in relation to a question asked by one of our live audience about the church having the sole responsibility of providing hand sanitizers to its members, since members give offerings all the time. My explanation was on the basis that the church cannot be seen to be the only or sole institution to do that and that members also had a role to play as well as the government it was in this light i made my comment i have personally given about 100 hand sanitizers to some youth church members and other needy persons i however apologize if this point did not come clearly in my interactions on the live video on facebook keep safe under the shadow of the almighty pastor brian amwetang Guys, um, what do you think about the pastor's apology? Because I think he has thought about it, then he knew he has effed up. 
so he had to come out to apologize mind you the thought came after um the backlash i mean the thought to apologize although he's now trying to you know change what he has said and meant before i'm sure he's not even feeling you know remorse about what he has said before now but then he just had to come out to apologize maybe for the sake of his name or what not well um you guys what do you think please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below okay now i don't understand why on earth someone would remove his or a mask to sneeze like why though okay let's say you remove your mask because um you are not comfortable using it why because you are not used to it quite understandable but why then did you not sneeze into your elbow like i'm not getting it okay guys in case you are wondering what i'm talking about please watch this video and let me know what you think in the comment section below okay for our colleague like the president mentioned in our plus session we have been able at one time or other to get in touch with her i have been speaking with her until her illness became uh, quite protracted her soul let's <laughs> <Rest in> peace <laughs> mr president oh my gosh guys did you see that an adult no a grandpa that is supposed to teach principles is the one doing that like can you imagine and to even think he did it without feeling shamed or sorry makes it more disgusting as a matter of fact, he was laughing over it like it doesn't matter. I miss the coronavirus pandemic going on around the world right now. Really? Yes, maybe it doesn't matter before now. But now, my darlings, it matters a great deal. It's called taking measures to protect others. And these are the people that are making laws in the country. Oh. I laugh in pidgin English. These ones that cannot even take simple precautions. It's okay. But see, Oga, I understand you are not used to this mask of a thing. None of us are. We are all trying to adapt. So please, next time when you want to remove your mask and do something like that, please do it into your elbow. Cough into your elbow. Sneeze into your elbow. Please, Edjo, we are begging you, okay? Okay, I guess we should move on, right? Yeah, moving on. Comedian AY says coronavirus will have a positive impact on the Nigeria system of government. In his words, all the politicians testing positive should be taken to the poor health centers they initially left for the masses. <laughs> Either we like it or not, the COVID-19 will have a positive impact on the Nigeria system of government, particularly the health sector. All right, um, you guys, um, what do you think um, concerning this AY's post? Or what he has said do you um, agree with him or not please let me know in the comment section below meanwhile Tasha baby is back in town as seen she don't land in Ninja and she's deliberating on whether to share foodstuffs and sanitizers or just sending money well baby girl whatever you decide Nigerians we accept we not get choice and thanks for your kind gesture but please don't forget to self-isolate for 14 days okay but wait to oh, my country people i thought the airports are closed i bid them don't open them again sha this is nigeria anything can happen anyways Fowls has this to say to his friends and family oh this day very important message don't find me come out Please, this is serious to you. I'm on self isolation and quarantine currently like this. Don't find me come out. Anything you need to tell me, contact me via video chatting, maybe FaceTime or, or WhatsApp video call, something like this. Don't find me come out. This is a time of social distance. Thank you, dear. All right, guys. Um, here is a little something I think will make you laugh. That's if you are not laughing already with the first video. Yeah, Bobriski made a post that reads, I was told Jesus is coming soon. Can someone tell me when so I can quickly remove my wig, eyelashes, and nails? <laughs> oh, well, Bobby, I wish I know, but I'm sorry I don't. Maybe there's someone somewhere who knows. Um, Yeah, guys, um, we've come to the end of this video. So please subscribe if you haven't. Like if you do. 
comment and share and i just truly will see you on my next one but until then be good be nice and bye bye Mwah.